Hi, so this is a um, discussion about reference electrodes in electrochemistry in general, but actually specifically in biosensors. Um, so when I mean a biosensor, for example, you know, if you look under here, we have um, a whole series of different biosensors, glucose sensors, oxygen, lactate, pH, chloride, potassium, calcium. Um, now, the thing about all these biosensors is if I go to the um, glucose sensor, for example, um, they all have, I'm just trying to find a better picture. Um, I'll zoom in a little bit on this. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Now, it's a little small here, um, but they all have... Um, three electrodes and these are the electrical connections here so um, when you look at this one there's a pad here which is for to make electrical connection to what's called the reference electrode there's a pad here that's made for making an electrical connection to the working electrode and there's a pad here that's for making um, electrical connection to what's called the counter electrode now I probably have some um, better pictures of that so if, let me just try one of these um, pictures here but first of all this discussion is about um, electrochemistry but I want to focus it on biosensors and I want to talk about the voltage at the working electrode and how we talk about that. Um, so if I go under our um, screen printed electrodes um, for example and there's some better drawings here um, yeah so here here we have a um, the electrodes are here so in electrochemistry, we often talk about working electrode, reference electrode, and counter electrode. So where my mouse is at the moment, that's the um, counter electrode, and you make electrical contact here. Um, this electrode that's wrapping round, that's called the working electrode, and you make, uh, sorry, reference electrode, and you make contact here. And then in the middle here, you make electrical contact here, and that's the working electrode. So in electrochemistry, we often talk about the voltage versus reference. Um, now people actually don't real people actually don't realize they often just say oh voltage, but it's voltage versus what? Now on these screen printer electrodes, the voltages we're talking about at the working electrode are relative to the voltage at this reference electrode. So in electrochemistry, people will often say the potential versus reference, and then they might say SCE. Um, saturated calomel electrode that's less likely these days because um mercury is not you know is not advised um in laboratories so actually people now are using um silver silver chloride reference electrodes um so they will say the oxidation potential was 250 millivolts what they should be saying is the oxidation potential was 250 millivolts versus a silver silver chloride reference electrode so when you're talking about voltages in electrochemistry and in biosensors you should also be mentioning versus what reference electrode now what i'm now going to go is go to another part of this website or our website and talk about uh, i'm just going to navigate into one of the pages And so I'm going to talk about reference potentials. Whoops, a daisy, come back one. I'm going to come back converting reference potentials. Because what I want to say is when we report a voltage versus silver, silver chloride, the voltage that we report could change, for example, if we use a what's called a saturated calomel electrode, or it could change if we were reporting it versus a standard hydrogen electrode the absolute no well no the, the absolute reference point in electrochemistry is something called the SHE which actually I said saturated hydrogen electrode I should have said standard hydrogen electrode so standard hydrogen electrode SHE is the kind of um, absolute standard let's say in electrochemistry and all other references are then relative to it now let me try and explain this a bit more. So we have a reference electrode converter here. So in the reference electrode converter, for example, um, I'm a I'm a scientist in a lab and I've done an experiment and my 
um, oxidation potential I felt was 250 millivolts. That means that it's 250 millivolts, and I was using a silver silver chloride reference electrode, so I report 250 millivolts. If somebody asked me what that was relative to the standard hydrogen electrodes, I could actually use the, a diagram like this to calculate what my my 250 millivolts, for example, along this line here versus silver silver chloride is out here somewhere. So what you would do is you would say 250 millivolts, but if I wanted to say relative to the standard hydrogen electrode, I would actually take the 250 and I would add 209 millivolts. So 0 0.209 volts is obviously equivalent to 209 millivolts. Um, so I would add it to my 250. And we basically just made a simple calculator that does that for you. So it just says if your potential was 300 millivolts, then versus the standard hydrogen electrode, it's approximately 509. Less commonly used now, standard calomel electrode, it would be 265. Um, if you were using a um, ferrous, ferry um, reference electrode, it would be minus 241. And if it was relative to a copper sulfate electrode, it would be 195 um, versus that one. So if I was to summarize, um, all electrochemical cells and biosensors have um at, they have at least two electrodes on them the reference the reference so this is our reference here this one wrapped around here and then it's insulated and then you make electrical contact at the back here and then we have our working electrode in the middle here and you make electrical contact with it here so you have at least the working and the reference and then when you're kind of reporting a oxidation or reduction you might say my oxidation or reduction had a certain voltage and actually what you mean is i had a voltage versus this reference and then so all i've sort of demonstrated in this little um, discussion was a way then of um sort of taking that voltage and for example you know i've, I've put in 250 millivolts and then it will just allow you to be able to say what that voltage was approximate to other um, known reference electrodes. Okay, um, so Zimmer and Peacock, we're developers of biosensors and uh, medical diagnostics. We have these standard products um, to allow developers to quickly do their development. So if you've got any questions around this, um, maybe you can contact us uh, somewhere like on our website here. Okay, thanks very much.